the 19th of June, year of 2021. Time has moved on so fast. To keep up, we must run. What a year this has been. Who knew that we'd find that COVID-19 had surprises in mind? It's been 15 months since we've been on this track. One must wonder just now if we dare to look back. There are strict protocols now to which we adhere. So graduation again will be virtual this year. Despite difficulties and challenges too, you graduates did what you needed to do. Your classes were virtual all the year long. You worked hard, showed persistence, were resilient and strong. You endured the mask wearing, lockdowns and curfews. Sanitizing, hand washing, safe distancing too. But then it was worth it, as well we all know. QC outshone all others, as national results show. In the history of QC, no grades can compare with the superior results Comets garnered this year. The pandemic has socially distanced so much, but technology helped us to all keep in touch. We are proud of you all and the ways you have grown. You have drawn from each other, could not do it alone. So now as we meet in the new normal way, it is with great pride that we laud you today. You're the best. Go with God. QC's chapter is done. Streak like comets, blaze new trails, and congratulations. Well done, class of 2021.
I invite you to join me as we have our invocation. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, your word reminds and assures us that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of light who does not change. Among those good gifts is the gift of education, the ability to learn, develop, and grow academically. And on this special graduation day, we are delighted and privileged to celebrate with this high school graduating class, this milestone on their educational journey. We thank you that they have come to this point in their educational pursuit as a result of their diligence, hard work, and commitment. This is a unique and special day in their lives, one that they will always remember and look back on with great pride and a sense of achievement. We acknowledge and are grateful for their teachers, those persons who have poured into their lives by teaching, guiding, molding, and shepherding them to this moment. Thank you for their dedication, commitment, and investment in the lives of their students. Reward them with a sense of joy and fulfillment at a job well done. We thank you, God, for good teachers who make a difference in the lives of their students. We acknowledge and express gratitude to you for their families, especially their parents, who have given and sacrificed so much to get them to this day and time. Grant them a true feeling of accomplishment and delight as they celebrate with their sons and daughters today. Bless and reward them for their sacrificial love and selfish provision. We commend and commit to you now, Father, all the students of this graduating class of 2021. We know it has been a challenge for them to have arrived at this point, as they have had to deal with all the uncertainties and vagaries of the COVID-19 pandemic but they have made it. And we recognize and thank you for their patience, their perseverance, and their persistence. As they now prepare for the next phase of their journey, we pray that you will grant them your divine direction, protection, and benediction in all their endeavors. May they look to you, the source of all that's good and noble, as they move forward in faith, into the future, to the next ventures of their lives. Bless and prosper them, we pray. And in the words of the gospel song, guide their feet, while they run this race, hold their hands and stand by them so that they will not have to run this race alone. We offer our prayer to you, the triune God, in the name of the Father, the giver of all good gifts, in the name of the Son, the one who has promised never to leave or to forsake us. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our leader, and our strengthener. Amen and amen. Good morning. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. We are so pleased that you are joining us. First, I wish to extend greetings to persons 
who play an instrumental part in the life of Queens College. Reverend Carla Kalma, President of the Bahamas Conference of the Methodist Church and the Chair of the Queens College Board of Governors, and other members of the executive and staff of the Bahamas Conference of the Methodist Church, Ms. Elise Delancey, Chair of the Division of Education and Training of the Bahamas Conference of the Methodist Church and members of the division, Reverend Henry Knowles, Principal of Queens College, members of the Queens College Board of Governors, Mr. Michael Diggis, Chair and Trustees of the Queens College Foundation, administrators, faculty and staff of Queens College, our speaker and special guest, Mr. Zachary Lyons, former head boy and member of the class of 2008, and today's special honorees, the graduating class of 2021. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this morning's very special ceremony. We have made every effort to keep you engaged by preparing a varied program which will culminate in the virtual presentation of the graduation diplomas. It promises to be a memorable time. For all of us, but especially for the graduands, this will be a ceremony that will not be soon forgotten. Graduands, when you embarked on your high school journey six short years ago, who could have imagined this rather bizarre and unexpected final year? We ended the last school year engaged in virtual education. And here we are again, still immersed in virtual education. Students, despite the many challenges and disappointments, there has been much growth and progress in your lives. You have discovered that you are in fact resilient and have continued to learn by facing the challenges of this time head on. Many of you have grown in computer literacy and technology. Some have discovered new skills and hobbies, and still others have continued to soar academically and athletically. You are all wonderful young adults with special talents and skills. Embrace them, develop them, and you will soar to exciting places. Each of you is gifted in your own way, and I encourage you to embrace those gifts. Parents, guardians, and friends, in today's ceremony, you will see a group of wonderful people who have, against the odds, moved forward with their lives. Despite the challenges and obstacles, they continue to move forward. In Philippians 3, verse 14, Paul writes, I press toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Paul uses the analogy of a runner who is keenly focused on his goal, which lies ahead. He reminds us that if we focus on our target, we will eliminate distractions and prevent stumbles. Graduates, as your theme against all odds implies, you have finished this race and you did so impressively. We wish you Godspeed and every success in the years ahead. Graduates, thank you for spending these special high school years with us. It was an honor to facilitate your growth over the years. I am proud to declare to those of you who are joining us this morning that the class of 2021 has worked incredibly hard and has perhaps slept incredibly little to be able to experience this historic day. Graduands, you completed your high school education as the global COVID-19 pandemic upended our lives and tested us in countless ways. But you made it, and you did so by making national headlines for your excellence in so many areas. I am so proud and impressed. Graduands, parents, family, friends, and other special persons who have joined us this morning, we welcome you to this momentous occasion.
when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when, when Jesus washed, he washed my sins away. I'm talking about happy day, happy day. Good morning, everyone. My name is Liam Lin, and I am the head boy of Queen's College. To try and express all the feelings and memories that have developed within me for the last 14 years at this prestigious institution has been difficult, and maybe harder than AP Biology itself. However, we're here today to reflect. In the cradle, the early learning center, life was good. There were ABCs, a scheduled sleep time, and of course, bicycles, lots of bicycles. We fast forward to primary school in grades one to three, where playtime was like heaven. To be the first on that new swing set meant you were instantaneously famous. We must never forget the school field trips in which always seemed to be at our Dasher Gardens. In grades four to six on the playground, I remember where soccer, basketball, and the infamous game of tag called zombie were played religiously. As maturity began, Many of us also commenced learning at a higher level for the first time. In August 2015, 
all the 2021 graduates started the seemingly endless six-year journey to graduation. And today, we are here. Starting high school, and especially at Queen's College High School, was hard. Hard enough to give up? No. Worth it? In most cases, yes. I assure you, the word organization was engraved in each and every one of our minds by numerous counselors trying to build a strong foundation in every one of us. In high school, it is a time where self actualization is achieved by many. We see the formation of student goals and aspirations. We also see the breaking of bonds and ending of relationships in which we would never imagine to be gone. Subsequently, we see the building of new bonds and relationships, the gathering of lifelong friends and memories. What does all this mean? It means growth. Growth is a gradual change in development, maturity, age, size, and mindset. As the head boy of Queen's College, I always remember Job chapter 8, verse 7. And though your beginning was small, your later days will be great. Being one to observe and quietly enjoy my experiences, days like sports day, swim gala, walkathon, and of course, BAISS prep rallies always showed me how passionate and competitive my fellow comets can be. After our school entered virtual learning in March 2020 due to COVID-19, we worked hard together and our performances in the national examinations were stellar. However, while we excelled academically, our sporting matches were sadly put on hold. My faith in all sporting teams to bring my future championships, especially the senior and junior boys basketball teams, is strong and will stay strong. As I reflect, we saw some teachers turn into friends and friends turn into family. The love and support I've received in my last three years of high school has shown me the importance of determination, kindness, and humility. I felt this in my BGCSC literature class, on the court, in my homeroom, the impact club, biology, and in chemistry. As I close, I am certainly eager to see God's plan and purpose He has for each and every one of us. Queen's College, 2021 graduates, we finally did it, and I wish you all the best. Good morning, everyone. The gift of memory is a blessing which affords us the opportunity to recognize moments in our life's journey which have made us who we are today. The memories of our high school years are a conglomeration of emotive experiences which serve to remind us of the strength and resilience that we possess. This has been especially true during the past 18 months. Our strength has allowed us to overcome obstacles and persevere through every circumstance, regardless of its intensity and severity. So let us press rewind for a moment and take a quick walk down memory lane. I remember an aura of excitement dancing through the air. A rush of anticipation entered into the hearts of all. Green banners flew through the atmosphere and screams and chants of comet pride erupted throughout the quad. It was the class of 2021's first high school BAISS championship back in 2016. Many of us, including myself, entered the grounds of Queens College for the first time as students in the seventh grade. The rallies and assemblies leading up to the sporting event immersed us in unifying chairs, which had a special welcoming embrace to them. Despite difference and diversity, it felt as though we were all one in our desire to bring home the win, which we most definitely did. That season instilled a sense of belonging in me a feeling of truly being where I was meant to be. There were so many of us in our grade, and I vividly remember how we participated in one particular wacky day, an event we shall never forget. We are a group that likes to talk and share ideas. Group discussions displayed our ability to formulate and express our ideas, and we built our communication skills throughout the years. The vigorous conversations held from our early religion classes right down to my final year of psychology will always hold a place in my heart. Throughout my years of Queen's College, I have been granted the opportunity to interact with so many beautiful individuals. During my service as Queen's College High School Choir President, I have been given the challenge to assist in nurturing the talent possessed by the choir members, whom I now call my children. I will miss them all very dearly. In my capacity as Student Christian Movement President, I was given the chance to interact with passionate and vibrant young people, whom I will also miss wholeheartedly. Under the guidance of many teachers, my journey has been indelibly etched in my heart. 
For the past year, it has been my privilege to serve as Hag Girl. I wish to thank so many people for the support given to me along the way. I thank the administration, my teachers, my cherished family, and friends. My voyage has been far greater than I could have ever imagined. As we continue on our journey and continue to explore our purpose, we will take our memories with us. We will find comfort in the fact that despite our shortcomings and setbacks, we will complete our journey just as it was meant to be accomplished. Congratulations, graduates. We have arrived. Thank you. I greet Reverend Carla Kalmar, President of the Bahamas Conference of the Methodist Church and Chairperson of the Queen's College Board of Governors, Executive Committee members and members of the Queen's College Board of Governors. I must begin by highlighting and celebrating the outstanding leadership team here at Queen's College. Vice Principals, Deputy Head, Finance Officer, Human Resource Officer, supported by our Administrative Assistant, Section Secretaries, and Support Staff. The heartbeat of our illustrious school is our teachers and our students are our lifeblood. I stand today to celebrate you all for your work, for your tenacity, for your creativity, and your commitment. Against all odds, you have prevailed. The 2021 school year is a year like none other. The COVID-19 pandemic has shaped and impacted almost every facet of our school, whether it was by intentional decisions of ourselves or through kicking and screaming, the impact of the coronavirus has transformed us as a school. Words like hybrid, virtual, classroom stream, MiFi, hotspots, Chromebooks, Google Meet and Zoom are now synonymous with our campus. Let's not forget phrases like, my internet went out, the power went off, I got bumped out, and of course, yes, I cannot log back in. As I look back at this school year, I cannot help but draw a parallel imagery of the children of Israel moving through the wilderness. They knew what their end goal was, their promised land, but they did not know how or when they were going to make it through the wilderness. Normal people would have gotten lost in the wilderness. Normal people would have given up and not fight. But thanks be to God that we are not normal. We are abnormal. They kept on pressing forward, and even when they faced obstacles and giants and enemies and pestilence, they kept pressing. Even when there was discouragement and dissensions and disillusionment, they kept pressing. They knew that God was on their side. They conquered and they made it through. Colleagues, graduates, Jehovah God, the Almighty One, is with us regardless of how long this COVID-19 wilderness experience may be. We will adapt. We will press. We will persevere. Once we saw that the school year was going to be governed by COVID, we sprang into action to fully prepare ourselves and the entire Queens College community. While some other places may have sat and waited, this is not the Queens College way. This is not the legacy of the comets. Comets soar, comets blaze, comets lead the way for others to see and to follow. Through a series of in-house professional development sessions and webinars, administrators, teachers, office support staff, and parents were all trained in the effective use of Google Suites and Google Classroom. We wanted to be certain that the entire Queens College community could fully embrace virtual schooling. Our innovation and creativity and our passion for excellence led the way. From the class of 2021 to the class of 2036, we were all fully online and virtual. We faced the virtual challenge head on. Through virtual staff orientation and professional development, virtual student and parents orientation, hybrid virtual school Thanksgiving service, a virtual activities fair, and we continue to move forward into the virtual world. There was a virtual full school chapel 
when we mourned the passing of one of our students and we offered prayers and words of hope and support to the entire school community, family, students, and teachers alike. We held our virtual Advent Christmas service, our virtual 131st school anniversary service. We even hosted the BAISS virtual Thanksgiving service. We had our virtual Easter service and it went on and on. We embraced it. This year, we even stepped out of the box. We hosted, we transformed ourselves to have the Queen's College Christmas Chair Extravaganza, which was a drive-through virtual concert highlighting the performances of members of our school community and the launch of a new school Christmas CD. The Galaxy, our campus bookstore, launched its online portal and home delivery service to meet the needs of our students for their textbooks and their resources while remaining safe at home during the national lockdown period. Friends, the 2020 National BJC and BGCSC examinations were first postponed to the summer of 2020. And then in the midst of the exams, there was a national shutdown. Exams had to be postponed again. And then we heard that in September, the exams were now going to happen. Some were shaken, some were discouraged, some gave up. But those were not Queens College students, those were not Queens College staff. Students and staff of Queens College rose to the challenge and pressed their way through those examinations. And against all odds, they triumphed. In the BJCs, our junior students from grade 8 and 9, they sat over 1,498 papers. The A to C passes were amazing. Most outstanding BJC award went to Shakaden Welts. He earned 12 A's in the National BJC Examination, best in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, best in the New Providence, best in the independent schools, and top mathematics score. In the BGCSE, Queen's College students sat over 1,066 papers. 21 students earned more than five A's in their examinations, and there were so many others who earned more than five A to C passes. We celebrate all of them. We must celebrate Kamori Sawyer, who achieved the most outstanding BGCSE student in the Commonwealth with 13 A's. We have a saying here at Queen's College, when one comet shines, we all shine. And Kamori Shaw shines for all of us. Best in Commonwealth, she received the Paul Adley Award. Top BGCSE student in the independent schools, she received the Carol Hanna Award. Top BGCSE student in New Providence and top subject award in BGCSE literature. The performance of our students are not only exceptional, but also unprecedented. For the first time in history, a single school has achieved top student in the Commonwealth for both BJC and BGCSE in the same year. Additionally, 13 students earned top subject awards in BGCSE and 8 students earned top subject awards in BJCs. In Advanced Placement Examination, since its introduction in 2004, Queen's College has offered advanced placement courses in 12 subject areas. Our teachers are fully AP trained and AP certified. Queen's College students in grade 12 in 2020 demonstrated their resilience and focus as they sat their AP exams. They studied, they applied themselves, and they showed up to sit their examinations, which resulted again in remarkable results. Four AP students achieved the most prestigious award, that is AP International Diploma. Those students were Nathan Allen, Zach Trico, Jody Ritchie, and Cameron Mancar. Seven students were named AP Scholars with Distinction, which means they scored at least three or higher in at least five AP subjects. 
two students were named AP Scholars with Honor, and 19 students were named AP Scholars. Congratulations, students. Rachel Ramming was awarded a $3,000 scholarship towards a college education by the Royal Fidelity Bank and Trust for her amazing accomplishments in junior achievement. Crochet Smith, our head girl, was awarded $3,500 in educational grant from Alive as an outstanding junior achiever. Our foundation, yes, yes, even our little comets, they fully embrace this pandemic period and they continue to experience great success throughout the year. In our primary years, Raquel Stewart was awarded first runner-up in the Bahamas Primary Student of the Year 2020 Awards Program. As a part of her award, Raquel received a $4,000 scholarship and a laptop. Shweta Nair, a student in grade four, is a budding artist. She won the NASA Guardian Christmas Coloring Competition, and she continues to participate in creative and performing arts opportunities. Fontenkin Roll II placed third in the 2021 Bahamas Insurance Association essay competition. And so many students continue to participate in competitions and award ceremonies. Our fourth arm of the school, our Center for Further Education, has embraced and pivoted from this pandemic to offer new programming and adaptive program deliveries. In sports, due to the national COVID-19 protocols, most competitive team sports were not allowed. But this did not prevent Queens College from remaining a sports powerhouse. In March of this year, members of our physical education department accompanied a team of 14 students to the National High School Golf Championship, where Queens College students competed against 40 other schools. The competition was fierce. And in the end, we placed second in the tournament. Way to go, students. Shamari Pratt was named the best overall junior girl, and Ryan Miller was named the best overall junior boy. Our junior and senior boys team placed second and third in their divisions, respectively. Under the leadership of Miss Amy Westmarlin, primary years physical education teacher, a budding after-school tennis program was launched this year. While a formal competitive team is not yet created, we are confident that the future is bright for tennis at Queens College. Our professional student athletes continue to perform exceptionally in swimming, water polo, and individual track and field events. Launched in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian, to provide relief aids to families affected by the storm, the outreach arm of Queens College, QC Cares, continues its work. This year, QC Cares launched our first uniform drive where students were able to donate and also receive gently used school uniforms. This may seem small to some, but to others, this was a tangible expression of the care and support which permeates throughout the Queen's College family. Finally, under the leadership of the Queen's College Office of Development, we embarked on a multifaceted campaign to encourage our alumni to remember and reconnect with the school. We are who we are based on the legacy of the many who went on ahead of us. The richness of Queens College, our ethos and our culture is entrenched in the hard work, commitment and fortitude of students and staff who have walked these halls. Against the backdrop of the challenges of their era, they persevered and achieved. And you graduates, your names will also be etched in the history books of Queens College. Against all odds, you persevered and you achieved.
Zachary Lyons is Principal and Chief Executive Director at Marlin Capital Partners Limited, a fund management firm based in the Bahamas. Previously, he was Chief Investment Officer at BankPro Limited, where he led the local development of the investment product offering of BankPro's digital private banking service. Zachary was a Senior Investment Analyst at Deltec Bank & Trust, where he co-built the Institutional Asset Management Desk and led the management of the Deltec Dynamic Cash Management Fund. Prior to Deltec, Zachary worked as Investment Specialist at BSI Overseas Bahamas Branch. Zachary graduated magna cum laude from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania with a Bachelor's of Science in Economics and a minor in Italian. He has been a CFA charter holder since 2019. Zachary was the head boy and the valedictorian of the Queen's College class of 2008 and is an active member of his church, the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, where he runs the Jollification Booth every year and is a member of the Biennial Greek Fest Committee. In his spare time, he enjoys playing piano, cooking and grilling, and listening to as much Latin music as his friends and family will tolerate. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, let us welcome Mr. Zachary Lyons, our guest speaker. Good morning, class of 2021. I am incredibly honored to have the chance to speak to you today, and I'm inspired by what you have achieved. This journey through the depths of COVID has challenged us all in more ways than we can count. Many of us have lost jobs, lost loved ones, lost touch. But against all odds, here we are. So before I even begin, I just want to congratulate each and every one of you, the 162 members of this graduating class. You have done what no one else before you could. And for that alone, you should be immeasurably proud. And I'd like to take a moment to congratulate the unsung heroes amongst us, the teachers, the administration, the support staff, the parents, family, and friends who have moved heaven and earth and by the grace of God have helped you reach this point. So, as I sat down to write this speech, I knew I had to make it something good, to send an inspiring message that could resonate through all the challenges we've seen over the last year. My obvious first step, was to watch as many graduation speeches as I could and steal all the good advice. But as I watched Steve Jobs' stay hungry, stay foolish, and the admirals start each day by making up your bed, I realized that the thing that made each of these speeches most powerful was that the speaker drew from who they were. And so today, I'd like to draw upon my own admittedly short experience to offer you three lessons that have served me well in my life. And where better to begin than that? In life, you must embrace who you are. Way back when I sat in this auditorium for my graduation, my life's goal was to learn Italian and go to Rome. I didn't know much else, but I knew that. Now, I had many friends who told me I was an idiot for this choice. Mandarin was more marketable, Spanish more applicable, but me, I wanted to take Italian. So I landed at Penn in my first semester, signed up and made plans to study abroad that summer in Italy and make my way to Rome. Now, as it turns out, I absolutely hated Rome. Never want to go back. But on that trip, I made some of the best friends in my life found out that I loved Italian, and when I went to interview for my very first job in the banking industry, the skill that was most sought after was Italian. And in the long run, it's not even important that it landed me a job or that I found a minor I loved. What's important is that I found a goal that mattered to me. I worked towards it, and I was happier because I was embracing what I wanted, who I was. So I'll say it again, embrace who you are, not who anyone else wants you to be, or even more importantly, who you think you need to be. Embrace who you are, and I can guarantee you that through success or struggle, you will end each day happier. Which brings me to my second piece of advice. In life, you must learn not to avoid struggle, but to struggle in the right direction. We all want success, 
an easy life with as little struggle as possible. But I've found that anything that really matters will always require some degree of effort, some degree of struggle. The key is to make sure you're struggling in the right direction. I can imagine, for instance, that it's been a struggle to go through virtual classes, to stay motivated and to push through to the finish. But I can also imagine the sense of accomplishment that you all now feel. I am sure that it was a struggle to study hard and achieve 13 A's in one sitting of BGCSEs. But I'm also sure that it's an incredible honor to be named top in this fine nation. I am confident that it is a struggle to lead an organization which makes it its goal to feed the homeless, the biblical 5,000. But I am confident that each person who benefits from your generosity is eternally grateful for it. And so on those occasions when you're confronted by a struggle that you didn't expect, don't want, and frankly, have no idea how to deal with, pause. Reflect on the values that have been instilled in you by your family, your God, and this fine institution that we've all called home, and then struggle in the right direction. And finally, take time to appreciate the little things. You're going to spend a few days of your life at these big events, graduations, weddings, first days, first dates, but in between, your life will be filled with thousands and thousands of normal days. The key to happiness, I've found, is to enjoy the little things that make each day special. The warmth of coffee as you wake up, a drink with a friend you haven't seen in a long time, the success of each small victory towards a larger goal. Embrace the beauty in the mundane, the joy in every day, because when businesses were closed, when schools were shut, when the world itself came to a stop. This is what mattered. This is what will give you strength to rise in your lowest days and be the wind behind your back on the best ones. And so, class of 2021, not only do I congratulate you for reaching this point, but I stand in awe of you. Given everything you've been through, given all the disruption to your lives, your senior year, your normal schedules, against all odds, you made it. As you move forward, remember to embrace who you are, to struggle in the right direction, and to enjoy the little things. We are all proud of you. We are all in awe of you. And we all know that this is just the beginning of the great things you will achieve because true comets never stop soaring. Congratulations and good luck. All right, everybody, let's give it up one more time for Dominic Stubbs. Now our school choir is coming to perform This is a Light of Mine.
At this time, we will recognize the top students in the graduating class. This will culminate with the announcement of this year's salutatorian and valedictorian. We are especially proud of these students and congratulate them. They will be awarded the Susan Eliza Young and Parkinson Prizes, both historically significant awards here at Queen's College. This is the moment for which we have all been waiting. The six-year high school journey has ended, but the path towards an exciting future filled with opportunities is just beginning. At this time, we will virtually grant graduation diplomas and announce the recipients of our subject prizes and our special awards. We congratulate all of our students who make up this outstanding group. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the graduating class of 2021. Brian Adderley receives the Biology and Physics Subject Prizes and the Tech Team Special Award. Diave Adderley receives the AP Studio Art Subject Prize. Leia Adderley. Elizabeth Ajib. David Aubrey. Dean Elmira receives the following subject prizes. Computer Applications, French, Geography, Mathematics, Music, Religious Education, Pre-Calculus Honors, AP Calculus, AP Environmental Science, AP French, AP Human Geography. Also, he receives the following special awards. The L. Alexander Roberts Prize, the Heather Wood Prize for Modern Languages, the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Sanaya Armbruster. Andira Astwood receives the Hospitality Subject Prize. Brene Bain. Ashley Bastian receives the Derek Wims Memorial Award. Dominic Benneby receives the Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Mercedes Bethel receives the Subject Prize for English Literature Honors. Devante Bethel. Don Boodle receives the Spanish Subject Prize. Ashley Braham receives the Accounts Subject Prize. Matthew Brainan. Deron Brown. Faith Brown, Diego Bodai, Gail Burrows, Haley Butler receives the Charles Wesley Virgil II Award, Trey Butler, Kai Campbell, Christian Carey, Jonathan Carey receives the QC Players Award, Tedros Cartwright, Lanzita Shea receives the AP Psychology Subject Prize and the Queen's College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Camuel Clark receives the French History Religious Education Precalculus Honors AP Literature and Composition Subject Prizes. He also receives the following special awards. The Deputy Head Boy Award the Chris Cartwright Memorial Award, the Karen Boyle Memorial Award, the Charles Wesley Virgil II Award, the Reverend Charles A. Sweeting Award of Excellence. Leila Clare receives the Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Ariana Kokinomagulos. Joel Colley receives the QC Players Award. Joshua Colley. Jolie Conliffe receives the Computer's Honors Subject Prize. Brad Cooper. Keisha Cooper receives the Accounts and Economics Subject Prizes. Daniel Diaguilar. Krista Dames. Sarah Dames. Janae Darvel receives the QC Players Award, the Mary Lowe School Pride Award. Kiara Dawkins, Rajakai Demerit, 
Garnet DeVoe receives the Counselor's Personal Growth Award. Joshua DeVoe receives the Mary Lowe School Pride Award. Om Dadwal receives the Chemistry Subject Prize. He also receives the Chris Cartwright Memorial Award and the QC 5000 Award. Sydney Duncanson receives the French Honors Subject Prize. She also receives the Chris Cartwright Memorial Award. Alia Duvalier receives the Chemistry Honors and AP Psychology Subject Prizes. Kayliz Ellis receives the Physical Education Subject Prize. Also, she receives the Special Award Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Giovanna Ineas. She receives the Queen's College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Jaden Etienne. Jelani Facey receives the Yvonne Nerona Prize for Reading. Danielle Falkerson. Karina Ferguson. Matteo Ferguson. Shallow Ferguson. Deja Forbes receives the Hubert Aubrey Music Award of Excellence. Gabrielle Fox, the Tech Team Special Award. Zachary Fox, receives the Subject Prize for Chemistry. Rajdeep Galli, Ariel Gardner, Tanaya Gibson, Megan Glasgow, Letitia Grant, Donna Gray receives subject prize, geography, and computer honors. Wellington Gray. Destiny Greenslade. Special Award, Queen's College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Manzi Gupta. Subject prizes for the following. Geography. Pre-Calculus Honors, AP Biology, AP Calculus, AP Psychology. Also, Special Awards, the Foundation Award, the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Tyler Hanlin, Subject Prize, Biology. Jerome Hanna, Subject Prizes, Graphical Communication, Physical Education. Special Award, Queen's College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award. Korea Hanna, Subject Prize, Hospitality. Special Award, the Adrella and Andrea Gibson Transformational Leadership Award. Kamani Jaden Hanna, Ocean Hanna, Jared Harding. Ajay Hart, Aliyah Hasty, Andrew Hepburn, Special Award, Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, Reagan Hidalgo, Special Award, Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, Brandon Higgs. Aliyah Hinzi. Anaya Hinzi. Subject Prize. AP Studio Art 3D. Special Award. The Reverend R. P. Dyer Memorial Prize. Ebony Horton. Danielle Isaacs. Special Award. The Yvonne Nerona Prize for Reading. Reagan Jackson. Special Award. The Tech Team, Azar James, Special Award, the QC Players Award, Ariane Johnson, Katherine Johnson, Subject Prize, Food and Nutrition, Special Award, the Derek Wims Memorial Award, Emily Kemp, Subject Prize, Creative Craft, Special Award, the David Pickerskill Memorial Award for Excellence in Art. Catrell King, Subject Prize, AP French. 
Special Award, the Grit and Grace Award, the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Malia Kinger, Subject Prizes, Art and Design, Graphical Communication, AP Studio Art 2D. Special Award, the David Pickerskill Memorial Award for Excellence in Art. Renato Knowles, Shalisa Knowles, Prachitas Contemporum Special Award, the SAT Prize. Liam Lin, Subject Prize, English Literature Honors. Special Awards, the Head Boy Award, the Diggers Family Award, the Reverend R.P. Dyer Memorial Prize, the Charles Wesley Virgil II Award, the Hall of Fame Award, Tazia Mackey, Prajay Major Special Award, the Reverend Charles A. Sweeting Award of Excellence, Yasmin Marsh, Bree Martinborough, Caden McCartney, Wanye McCoy, Special Award, Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, Gadville McDonald Jr., Jasnia McDonald, Subject Prize, Computer Applications, Kellen McIntosh, Amari McKinney, Kavana. McKinney, Kristen Miller, Tyler Miller, Special Award, the QC Players Award, Ari Morse, Special Award, the QC Players Award, Makaria Morse, Yushika Mulani, Taya Munnings, Subject Prize, Pre-Calculus Honors, the following special awards. Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, the Karen Boyle Memorial Award, the Dr. Keva M. Bethel Award, the Reverend Charles A. Sweeting Award of Excellence, the Foundation Award, the Hall of Fame Award. Brianna Monroe. Jamesia Murdoch receives the following subject prizes. Commerce, Economics, English Language, History, Religious Education, Spanish, Pre-Calculus Honors, Spanish Honors, AP Calculus, AP Literature and Composition, and AP Psychology, as well as the following special awards. The Diggis Family Award, the Julian and Yvonne Fawkes Prize for Creative Writing, the Kieran Boyle Memorial Award, the Dr. Keva M. Bethel Award, and the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Ariana Neely, Olea Nixon, Danielle Nottage receives the QC Players Special Award, Jada Nottage, Kavia Pillai receives the Subject Prize for Physics Honors, as well as the following special awards, the L. Alexander Roberts Prize, the Foundation Award, and the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Josh Pinder. Erica Jane Pineda receives the French Subject Prize. Tenay Pratt. Rachel Ramming. David Ramtula. Kellen Rigby. Linton A. Ritchie. Mandia Roberts receives the following subject prizes. Biology, Chemistry Honors, Pre-Calculus Honors, AP Biology, AP Literature and Composition, AP Psychology, and AP Spanish, as well as the following special awards. The Deputy Head Girl Award, Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, the Heather Wood Prize for Modern Languages, the Dr. Keva M. Bethel Award, the Reverend Charles A. Sweeting Award of Excellence, and the Adrella and Andrea Gibson Transformational Leadership Award. Paris Roberts. 
Shavante Roberts, Kennedy Roll, Vivian Beatrice Roll, Dalen Russell, Sanaya Russell, Mariana Salpadimos, Andrew Saunders, Justin Saunders. Kamori Sawyer receives the following subject prizes: Art and Design, English Language, English Literature, Pre-Calculus Honors, AP Biology, AP Calculus, AP Language and Composition, and AP Literature and Composition, as well as the following special awards: the Julian and Yvonne Fuchs Prize for Creative Writing. The Adrella and Andrea Gibson Transformational Leadership Award, and the Principal's Lighthouse Prize, Kianu Sawyer, Bertram Sears Jr., Monet Sims receives subject prizes in Biology, Chemistry, and Physics. Kershay Smith receives the Religious Education Subject Prize, as well as the following special awards: the Head Girl Award. The Hubert Albrey Music Award of Excellence, the QC Players Award, the Anselm Thompson Award, the Grit and Grace Award, and the Reverend R. P. Dyer Memorial Prize. Christian Stewart. Courtney Stubbs receives the following special awards: Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Award, and the Adrella and Andrea Gibson Transformational Leadership Award. Dominic Stubbs receives the QC Players Special Award. Corey Stubbs. Shravya Sabod receives the following subject prizes: Creative Craft, Office Procedures, Pre-Calculus Honors, AP Biology, AP Literature and Composition, AP Psychology, and AP Spanish, as well as the following special awards: the L. Alexander Roberts Prize. The Julian and Yvonne Folks Prize for Creative Writing, the Heather Wood Prize for Modern Languages, the Dr. Kevin M. Bethel Award, the Foundation Award, the Adrella and Andrea Gibson Transformational Leadership Award, and the Principal's Lighthouse Prize. Tyra Sweeting, Simone Saz, Alexandria Courtney Taylor. Allison Taylor receives the following special awards: the Interact Prize, the Foundation Award, and the Hall of Fame Award. Edwin Taylor, Aaliyah Thompson, Sasha Thompson receives the Grit and Grace Special Award. Kylia Tinker receives the Creative Craft Subject Prize. Aja Tullock, Abigail Turnquest. Kaylin Turnquest, Terrell Walker, Jasmine Wallace, Ethan Ward, Diamond Ward, Gershwin Wilkinson, Taya Williams, Asha Marie Winder receives the English Literature Honors Subject Prize, Nathaniel Zervos receives. The Queens College Alumni Association Soaring Comet Athletics Special Award. The following students attained the top academic awards and standings in the class of 2021. In fourth place, and earning the Parkinson Prize, are Catrell King and Jamisia Murdoch. In third place, and also earning the Parkinson Prize, is Dean Almira. There is a tie this year for the Salutatorian Award. We congratulate Kavya Palai and Kamori Soya for earning the Susan Eliza Young Prize. Our valedictorian this year is Shravya Sabod, with a cumulative GPA of 4.2. She also earns the Susan Eliza Young Prize. We congratulate all of our students. Good morning, parents, teachers, administration, all of our viewers, and most definitely my wonderful class of 
My name is Shravya Subul, and it is my honor to be your valedictorian for the class of 2021. You all do not need me to say how complex and unprecedented this year was. This pandemic has stolen so many anticipated moments from us. We never got to sit on the balcony for every assembly. We never experienced the special side of the pool during swim gala. We never had what was supposed to be our BAISS and sports day. These, among many others, were moments that we waited for and waited, but never came along. However, despite all of this, I think that it is essential that we recognize the many valuable lessons this year has taught us. First, this year has taught us not to take each other for granted. We used to sit down at lunch times with our friends and laugh about the silliest things. This year, however, we mostly only saw each other through our computer screens. And when we saw each other physically, we could only see half of each other's faces. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it was to appreciate seeing each other in real life. And of course, the transition from a physical to a virtual class environment was hard on everybody, for some harder than others. During this time, however, we should not forget about our teachers. The transition could not have been easy for them either. And for their perseverance and dedication, we will remain forever grateful. We must also express thanks to our families who have supported us through thick and thin and have been with us every step of the way. Furthermore, this year, we learned to live in the present and not save things for next year. Who knows what next time will look like? What is the guarantee that next year will hold the same type of opportunities that are present this year? What I'm saying is, step out of your comfort zone now, not later. Ensure that you take time to balance your hobbies and extracurriculars with your academics. Burnout is a very real thing, and if you are not careful, you might fall down that spiral. So, take time to do what you love and talk to the people you love. We all know that academics are important, but I don't think enough people understand the importance of balance. As the seventh habit says, sharpen the saw. Take time to recharge your batteries, and this will allow you to reach the great heights you are destined to, re to reach. Now, fellow graduates, I know we are all scared and excited about our next steps. We are nervous about going into the real world and making decisions independently. However, I want to remind you that it's okay if we don't have every single thing figured out yet. I get that it might be hard to accept, but as long as we are taking it one step at a time, I know it will go a long way. Additionally, never stop believing in yourself. As Theodore Roosevelt said, believe you're there and you're halfway there. I know that each of you has so much potential within you. And I have no doubt that this will be exhibited through your future successes. Most importantly, don't forget to cherish your past accomplishments and recognize those who have been by your side throughout your journey. We would not have been here without them. Whether it be your friends, parents, siblings, or teachers, take the time to thank them for everything they have done for you. We have come a long way, and if you ask me, we deserve to feel so proud of ourselves. I know we are now going our separate ways, and I wish you all the best in the future. Anytime I hear about any of us, I will proudly say, we graduated together, or we went to the same high school. I think of this graduating class as a large tree. We will all grow in separate directions. However, our roots, our school, our united past will always remain the same. Thank you. Celebration. I finally figured out that all our dreams have no limitations. That's what it's all about. Everyone is special in their own way. We make each other strong. We make each other strong. We're not the same. We're different in a good way. Together's where we belong.
We take this opportunity now to highlight staff who are retiring this school year and who have given 10 or more years of service to Queens College. Mr. Alvin Turnquist, or as I know him, Ali. Mr. Turnquist came to work at Queens College as a part of the facilities department. And for several summers, he was a painter. And then he was made a permanent member of staff 12 years ago in November of 2009. Since then, he has been reliable, helpful, and a hard-working employee that always wears a pleasant smile. Mr. Turnquest never hesitates to assist others, and his helpful nature is an endearing quality. Queens College is thankful to Mr. Turnquest for his years of service to the school and wishes him well in his retirement. Mr. Julian Kemp. Mr. Kemp joined the staff of Queens College 12 years ago on April 27, 2009. He came to us as a former decorated officer of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. Mr. Kemp's military background has served him well as the property manager for the school. His firm but fair management style has ably led the complement of facility staff under his supervision. He has also served the school in the capacity of softball coach and led many teams to playoff victories. His carpentry, journey, draftsman, and machinery repair skills have been invaluable to the success of the facilities department with the repair and maintenance of the school grounds and buildings. Queens College could always rely on Mr. Julian Kemp to always be on hand in the evenings, weekends, even holidays. And he is a testament to what excellence and commitment is to Queens College. We wish him well in his well-deserved retirement. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Mrs. Nicola Henderson. Mrs. Henderson became a part of Queens College's family more than 17 years ago, beginning in September of 2003. This soft-spoken educator has worked with several age groups in her teaching career, both in the classroom and as a lower school librarian. She believes that teachers are accountable to their students, so thorough planning and preparation were essential to her narrowing the educational gap to meet the needs of our students. Mrs. Henderson always demonstrated a high level of professionalism in the performance of her teaching and as a highly effective helper of her students. As great head, she fostered an atmosphere of support and respect, collegiality, and a spirit of excellence. Thank you, Mrs. Henderson. You will truly be missed. Mrs. Gillian Thompson. Mrs. Thompson joined the staff of Queens College 23 years ago in September of 1997. She is also a graduate and a parent of three graduates, so the love for Queens College is evident all through her. Mrs. Thompson first served as a teacher and now is the curriculum coordinator for Foundation Years. 
Her leadership experience has developed extensively during her tenure here at Queen's College. She has been instrumental in nurturing and influencing the minds, the hearts, and the lives of our little comets by preparing them to be future global citizens. Mrs. Thompson believes that the spiritual and the social development of our students is equally essential to their success, and that our classrooms should maintain high standards of excellence that provide authentic educational experiences. As an educator, Mrs. Thompson has remained firm in her efforts to inspire and facilitate lifelong learning in our students. This is done through the development and implementation of a rigorous and meaningful curriculum. Queen's College is indeed grateful to Mrs. Gillian Thompson for her contribution to our legendary past. We wish her well in her future endeavors and we know that she will continue to do her part in sending forth competent and confident world-changing citizens. Thank you, Mrs. Thompson. Mrs. Virginia Minnis. Mrs. Minnis started her career in early childhood education in 1976 with the Ministry of Education as a grade one teacher. In 1978, she joined Queens College. Out of a heart of servanthood, she continued to teach and nurture the minds of our young students as a first grade classroom teacher for 25 years. Her excellence in early childhood education in the 1980s led to her promotion as head of grade one. In September 1999, she was given the administrative responsibilities over the Early Learning Center, where she began making a greater impact in the life of the school. In 2014, she was again promoted, and this time as vice principal, head of foundation years from ELC to grade two. Being a change agent, she has facilitated the transformation of the Queens College's early learning center and foundation years into professional learning communities filled with enthusiasm and engaged learners and leaders. She has inspired and empowered and influenced and equipped teaching staff with the skills, tools, and strategies through mentorship and exemplary servanthood. Mrs. Minnis has facilitated the development of a higher level of professionalism in her teachers as teacher leaders and collaborators. She has promoted an atmosphere of sharing best practices, accomplishing greater results in students' academic achievements. In January of 2017, Mrs. Minnis was honored by Queens College for her long years of service and commitment to the success and growth of the school. We take this opportunity to thank Mrs. Minnis for providing 43 years of uninterrupted, exemplary, stellar service to Queens College. As Mrs. Minnis begins her retirement, we pray God's continual blessing on her in this new era of her life. We present now a special video tribute in recognition of Mrs. Virginia Minnis' 43 years of service to us as a school. Thank you, Mrs. Minnis, and God continue to bless you. From the very beginning of Mrs. Minnis' tenure here at Queen's College, as head of ELC, and then eventually as Vice Principal of Foundation Years, she has remained steadfast. She was true to her mission, she grew the ELC, she made it what it is today. Well done, Mrs. Minnis. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you for all you have done for Queen's College. Mrs. Minnis is faithful. She's a devout Christian and serves her God through several ministries in her church. She has also been faithful here at Queen's College over the years. She has been faithful to her students 
and to their development. She has also been faithful to all of us, colleagues, and as such, she has grown to become our friend. Well done, Mrs. Minnis. Congratulations, and we wish you well in your retirement. Mrs. Minnis is energetic. Every year, Mrs. Minnis would demonstrate her endless energy as she led our little comets in song and dance during our ceremonies and productions. Congratulations, Mrs. Minnis. My word for Mrs. Minnis is courageous. She is a woman who exudes confidence and she is not afraid of a challenge. I have seen her face giant. I've seen her weather the storm and she keeps pressing and she keeps pushing. She is a woman of courage. Courageous is who she is, Mrs. Virginia Minnis. Mrs. Virginia Minnis, a unique educator, second to none. Faithful, faithful to her God, faithful to her family, and especially faithful to the QC Comet. Resilient. Dedicated. Tenacious. Passionate. One of a kind. Insightful. Meticulous. Mrs. Minnis, when I close my eyes and smile, as I think about you, I would think about the word kindness, which is simply love in action. You've been that for the many years I've known you. Love you plenty. When I think of Mrs. Virginia Minnis, I think of a veteran educator. Determined, loving, leader, phenomenal, down to earth. Mrs. Minnis, you are truly a trailblazer. Continue to soar wherever you may go. Effervescent, Mrs. Minnis, your passion for teaching and learning spills over onto everyone who needs you. A cheerleader. I could pick from so many words, steadfast, inspiring, encouraging, dedicated, but today I select the word gift, because for us you have been a gift. Hardworking, refiner. I can best describe this as asking me why, because she commits no obligations. My word for you, Mrs. Minnis, is supportive. You are very diligent. Mrs. Minnis, you are truly unbreakable. Since my first week here at Queen's College, your love and commitment has been evident. Under your leadership, we have set the foundation for the entire school to open. Mrs. Minnis, it was you. Thank you, I love you, and I'm really gonna miss you. Mentor. Passionate. Supportive. When I think about Mrs. Virginia Minnis, one word comes to mind. That word is perfectionist. She has a high standard of when I think of this minute, so many words flood my mind. And the word that really, really sticks to me is the word supportive. Ms. Minnis knows how to support every member on her team. She knows how to encourage, she knows how to empower, and she knows how to provide strength in those times of weakness. To me, Ms. Minnis is simply phenomenal. Spiritual. A true Bohemian. Generous. Perfectionist. Love you, Mistress Minnis. Bye, Miss Minnis. Goodbye, Mrs. Minnis. We love you, Mistress Minnis. We love you, Mistress Minnis. Goodbye, Mistress Minnis. Goodbye, Mrs. Minnis. We love you, Mrs. Minnis. We love you, Miss Minnis. On behalf of the entire QC family, we congratulate Mrs. Minnis on 43 years of inspiring excellence at Queens College. Your dedication and love for your profession and our school are undeniable. We wish you a happy retirement, lots of love from your QC family, especially the thousands of little comets 
whose lives you have positively impacted. We love you. Today, Ms. Savusis and I have been given the privilege of saying thank you to those who have played a part in our virtual ceremony. Reverend Carla Culmer, thank you for offering the prayer to our graduates and the benediction. Reverend Milton Lightborn, thank you for the special prayers of invocation offered today. Our esteemed guest speaker, Mr. Zachary Lyons, alumnus, head boy, class of 2008, allow me to express the profound thanks of our school for honoring us with your presence. I have no doubt that your address is one that our graduates will long remember. Mr. Lyons, on behalf of Queens College and the graduating class of 2021, we present to you this gift basket as a token of our appreciation for your kind words of wisdom that will forever resonate with us. Thank you very much, it's my pleasure. To Reverend Henry Knowles, Principal, thank you for your memorable remarks and reflections on this school year. It was through your care and leadership that Queens College has been able to successfully navigate the challenges of this past year. I wish to acknowledge Mr. Corral Colby, Head of Music, for coordinating and producing all of the special music which you heard today. I also want to thank Ms. Carmen Vargas, who diligently worked to produce this program. To Ms. Marsha Cates, Administrative Assistant, for the long hours of unselfish work to make this ceremony possible. We extend thanks to Greg and Isla Dean for beautifully decorating our stage. Thank you to our facilities department for all of the preparations you have made for today's ceremony. Finally, parents and guardians, we as a school wish to thank you for entrusting your children to us for these many years. We have given them our best, and now it is fitting for them to go out into the world and to give it their best. A sincere thank you to each and every one of you, and may God continue to bless you. Fulfills himself in many ways. 
we charge you both as inheritors of the fine and legendary tradition of Queen's College to carry forth this light from this place into this country into this world and there to let it shine ever brightly defeating by its brilliance the darkness of ignorance we ask you then if you'll build on the firm foundation of those who have gone before and undertake to do the sacred work We undertake to do these things. We ask you how you will do this. We shall do this with the help of God. And when will you do this? We shall do this henceforth. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jeremiah 29 and 11, we are reminded that you are the God of purpose and that you have wonderful plans for every person on planet Earth. On this special day in the life of the graduates of the year 2021, we ask, O oh God, that you would put a hedge of protection around them, cover them in your precious blood, and let the angels assigned to them remain on their post all the days of their lives as they move into this new phase in the journey of their development. May they remember to be persons of purpose. May they be focused on being positive people who will impact and influence their country and our world in wonderful ways. May they be, have a grounded faith in you and be appreciative of all the blessings that they have received and the many wonderful opportunities that are before them. May they allow the lessons and experience learned in these pandemic times to make them strong and resilient people. Fill them with joy and help them to develop into their full potential. Bless their parents and guardians and all persons whose sacrifices and support have brought them to this juncture in their lives. May they be reminded that to whom much is given, much is required. Please keep them safe over the summer break and help them to navigate wisely in their next steps and in all their decisions. Help them to be positive in their outlook on life, wise in their selection of friends and in their decision-making processes, courageous when facing adversity and appreciative of all that they have received. May they cultivate and develop a wonderful legacy that will inspire others to emulate their wonderful example. Keep them from the evil one, his designs and plans to ensnare them. And may they be always aware of your holy presence. We commend them into your care and keeping, O merciful Lord, and we know that the best is yet to come in their lives. In the awesome and precious name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen, and amen.
Oh, I'm cool enough. 